What's up guys, Don't Matter here, and today we are going to be reacting to another Fat Electrician Reviews video. This one is Battleship New Jersey Sinking an Island, Iowa class battleship. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same Battleship New Jersey as that was in his other video, the uh, US versus Iran video. It might be, it might not be. I know the US uses a lot of the same names in their ships, especially the ones that are named after uh, states or presidents or stuff like that, right? Because one will get retired, decommissioned, uh, you know, s stripped apart for scrap, and then they'll bring in another one and they'll name it the same thing. I don't know if they do that with New Jersey because I think New Jersey is now a, um, a museum, if I'm not mistaken. I know the one video we watched, I'm pretty sure it was on the New Jersey uh, as a museum. But anyway, I guess we'll find out if it's the same one. Link to the original video down below and let's jump into it. Today we're talking about the most decorated American battleship of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the USS New Jersey. Okay, it's it is the be longest the same serving one. battleship in history, serving in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the Persian Gulf. Okay, yeah, it's definitely the same the one. The most decorated battleship of all time belongs to the best class of battleship of all time, the Iowa class. Also known as Nebraska Premium. Nebraska Iowa class Premium. The fastest battleships of all time, capable of traveling 33 knots, which is like 38 miles an hour if you speak freedom fractions like an adult. Or if you've got some weird decimal fetish. <laughs> It's like 61 kilometers an hour. So what do you sacrifice to be the fastest battleship of all time? Absolutely nothing, because it's also the hardest hitting battleship of all time. It is equipped with 49 Ower Lycan auto cannons, 20 quadruple bofers, 10 Mark 28 5 inch turrets, and its main armament of 9 Mark 7s installed on 3 turrets. These guns shoot a 16 inch 2700. Man, that picture doesn't even look real. I'm pretty sure. Is that an AI? Or not an AI picture. It won't be AI because it's. That's too... Well, it might be, actually, but... I'm guessing it's from, like, a video game or something. It just doesn't look quite real. ...pound H-E shell. And if you don't know, H-E stands for high explosive, which is American for get... ...effed. <laughs> I've been informed I'm no longer allowed to say fuck. Whoops. Anyways, these shells are absolutely enormous. So big, in fact, that while the United States called the New Jersey the Big J, the enemies nicknamed it the Black Dragon. Due to its <laughs> darker gray paint job and its ability to breathe fire. And I can hear the comments section already. Buh, the Yamato had bigger guns. Buh. I didn't say the USS New Jersey had the biggest guns of all time. I said it was the hardest hitting of all time. Believe it or not, the American military doesn't really subscribe to bigger is better. We prefer accuracy by volume. While the 16-inch guns on the New Jersey are, in fact, smaller, they do have a much higher muzzle velocity, allowing them to have just as much, if not more, damage than the 18-inch guns on the Yamato. How Man, probably the best example of, like, accuracy over and, like, technology, technological superiority over just raw power is technically the Soviets detonated the biggest bomb ever, right? The Tsar Bomba. I'm pretty sure it's like two to three times the size of the U.S.'s biggest bomb ever. And the Soviet, well, I guess they're the Russians now, they're not even the Soviets, but they're still like 30 years behind America in technology, right? At least military technology. They don't have MIRVs, right? They don't have, the MIRV, I think it's, I'm pretty sure this is what it's called. Somebody mentioned it in the comments on one of the other videos is the wildest thing in the world. And I'm pretty sure they've been around since like the 80s, which means you know they have some top secret shit that just blows us out of the water, right? Uh, but the Merv, if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's the Merv. And it has like a hundred little tiny warheads on the top, on the front of it. And you shoot the rocket. Then the rocket splits into a hundred different rockets. And all those rockets have independent targeting systems that they're able to hit within like three meters. And these are nuclear payloads. Like if you're accurate to within three meters with a nuclear weapon... That's more than accurate enough. However, because they're smaller and lighter, it allows the USS New Jersey to carry more ammunition as well as fire it faster. Meaning that it is absolutely the hardest hitting battleship of all time. And in 1969, while the Yamato was busy being a coral reef, the USS <laughs> New Jersey proved it. Let's just read it together. The New Jersey showed what her nine 16 inch guns could do in 1969 when she nosed up to a small, heavily fortified island off of North Vietnam. The enemy soldiers were allowed to escape unharmed. Then the dreadnought opened fire. A newspaper headline later told the result. The New Jersey sinks an island. <laughs> it's just gone. I need a minute to process. Please hold. It sunk a fucking island. I didn't know that was an option. 
And not even just like your regular ass island. This is a fortified island. Like, this island's been drinking its milk and it still got fucking deleted. Like, I had no idea that you could waterboard a land mass. <laughs> the nature's been rubbing two tectonic plates together for a millennia to make this island. And then you piss off Uncle Sam and Mother Unnature comes along. Mother and Unnature. And the whole thing. You just got your ass beat so bad, you're going to have to rename your favorite brand of butter. You're going to be putting <laughs> O-Lakes on your toast from now on. Geneva's gonna be pulling cards out of the suggestion box like, why is this one wet? Meanwhile, these guys are back living in a Kevin Costner movie. Water so yeah, world. needless to say, the USS New Jersey packs a punch. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. My merch store and all my other links are available at thefatelectrician.com, where the Quackbang 2.0 merchandise is now available. So until next time, thank you for your service. Quackbang out. Although the Quackbang out thing became like a fucking, um, I don't even know what you call it, like a, a signature for him to like sign off, but... Yeah, the fact that they just deleted the island. Just gone. Gone. Yep. You can get out of here, but your island your island can also get out of here. But, man, that ship is like... The fact that he's made at least two videos about it, possibly more, just shows like how much shit that ship has been through. And then it gets retired, right? It doesn't even get sunk. It's just a, a fucking museum now. That is wild. Anyway... Let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.